Hi, this is Dr. Melissa Chotel, and today I want to take a moment to take a look at the Sprint Ray Smile Correction Service. So this is a new service from Sprint Ray where you can request a treatment setup for clear aligners for a patient, and the doctor will be provided with the STL files to send directly to their Sprint Ray printer. So I use the Sprint Ray Pro quite a bit in my orthodontic practice. So I wanted to take a look at the setup and design service because this could be a big time saver in my in-office clear aligners workflow. So I went ahead and I submitted one of my patient's cases that only needed minor tooth correction and I've received my treatment setup back. Now with the Sprint Ray Smile Correction, it is for smaller tooth movements, and it's not intended to change occlusion. So this is an adult patient where I was treating her strictly for some of her cosmetic concerns. When I open the treatment setup, we're gonna see that I have the treatment simulation. I have a toolbar at the left-hand side that allows me to see some of the different features in the treatment setup and the different treatment views. Along the bottom of the screen, I have the toolbar starting at the initial step where I would create any of my attachment templates. As you can see, when I click on the different settings on the toolbar, it will jump to that step automatically to allow you to see that view. If I go back to the beginning, I can use the play button and I can play through the treatment setup like a movie. I can also jump from the beginning to the end of the treatment simulation using the different buttons. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the functionality of the software. With our quick views that we have in our toolbar on the left hand side, I'm able to jump from view to view to see the current step that I've selected. So if I go back to the models on the front and if I jump to the end, this will be my final treatment setup. And then I can go through and compare how the tooth movements have resolved the aesthetic concerns of my patient. I'm gonna play through it like a video one more time so I can see where some of the movements are. And then I'm gonna to go to the different views go back to the beginning and then play through again so I can see more of the tooth movement. So overall, I was really pleased with the treatment setup I received. The technicians did a great job of following the instructions I gave. We can see here that I do have an attachment on my upper left lateral. If I go to the attachments tab, I can toggle that on and off in case I wanted to show it to a patient. This patient doesn't require any interproximal reduction but if they did, I could turn that on and off as well if I was showing it to the patient and didn't want it to be a distraction. Some of the features that I really liked in this software compared to most typical design services is that they had a few um, more robust features. So there is a bolt-in analysis if you want to see the tooth size discrepancy. I also really like to look at my cases with superimposition. So it'll show me the initial starting point and the final starting point for my patient. We can see here just predominantly movement in the anterior teeth, but it gives a great visual so that I can see the movement that's planned. And I can also explain that to my patient if they have any questions. So as we can see here, very minor tooth movement. However, that is what this service was created for. What I really like is that I can then have the STL files sent directly to my Sprint Ray Pro printer. I can download these and archive them at my office in case I need to reprint. And I'm able to access this on my Sprint Ray dashboard. If we look a little closer at some of the tools, we can see that there is a grid function for comparing and seeing the symmetry of the case. 
You simply click on each of the buttons on and off to toggle through them, so it's very user friendly. But what I also really like is if I look at the arches and if I select occlusion, it's going to show me the patient's occlusion. So here I can see the final occlusion at this step. So for myself, I like to have those heavier contacts in the posterior and lighter contacts in the anterior. And I can always double check to make sure that I'm achieving that for my patient. Um, not just by simply looking at the final occlusion in the models, but by actually looking at the heat map where it's detected that they will be contacting and touching. In this case, I don't have any pontics. However, if I did, there is a function to see the pontic. I can click on the tooth number and it's going to give me the tooth numbers in universal numbering system. And if I click on the tooth movement table, it's going to give me all of the movements of the teeth. To me, um, this is quite a bit of information. It can be helpful if you have a tooth that's not tracking. However, I prefer to see it in the three-dimensional view. So overall, I was really pleased with the treatment setup that I've received. I can't wait to get these models printed in my office and to fabricate them for my in-office aligners. If you wanna learn a little bit more about orthodontics, clear aligner dentistry, and 3D printing, Check out LearnDentistry.com for more of my videos and blogs.